Today I'm going to go to Las Vegas, which is right over here. Now near Las Vegas, when you go north and west, 65 miles or 104.6 kilometers, you end up in this valley right here, which is known as the Nevada Test Site. As you get in closer to it, you can see there's a bunch of craters in the ground, hundreds and hundreds of craters, and these were made by, from nuclear tests. Between the years 1951 and 1992, 928 nuclear bombs were detonated in this area. 100 of those bombs were detonated above ground in this area, and 828 of them were detonated underground. They were underground nuclear tests. As you get in close, you can see the area where the underground bombs caved the, caved the earth in, and it's just all over the place out here. There's also some places where you see actual craters, like right here and right here, as you explore it. There's another one right over here. And you can see there's a big one right here. And inside this circle, there's several craters or several underground explosions uh, right next to this big crater. But at the same time, this big crater here is not the biggest crater in the, uh, te at the test site. The biggest crater is right over here. And the name of this crater is called Sedan Crater. They made this crater on July 6th, 1962. The device they used was not very big. It was 43 centimeters by 96.5 centimeters, and it weighed 212.2 uh, kilograms. That translates to 17 inches by 38 inches, and it weighed 468 pounds. They buried it 635 feet underground, which is 194 meters underground. After it detonated, it left a crater that was 1,280 feet wide by 320 feet deep, or 390 meters wide by 100 meters deep. Eight days after this explosion, they detonated another atomic bomb above ground, and that would have been the last atomic bomb they detonated above ground, but between Sedan Crater and the other bomb they detonated called Small Boy, those two bombs sent enough radiation into the air. It floated across the United States and eventually settled right over here. Turn this north a little. It settled pretty much covering the entire state of Iowa and southern Minnesota. There was also traces of it found on the border of Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio right in here. So it detonated over here, and it floated in the atmosphere and then came to settle down in these areas right over here. So kind of gives you an idea of how far nuclear con contamination can travel in the atmosphere. Here is Las Vegas. Now, the interesting thing is this, that Back in the 1950s, people would go to Las Vegas, and part of the attraction to going to Las Vegas was they would get to see giant mushroom clouds rising up into the sky from the atomic bombs that were detonated over here at the uh, nuclear test site, the Nevada test site. And here is an old photo that was taken from Las Vegas looking toward the test site, and you can see this giant atomic bomb mushroom cloud rising up into the sky. And this is what you were able to see from Las Vegas back in the 50s. And it actually was an attraction to Las Vegas. People would go to Vegas just to see these nuclear clouds, just like this. And here's another photo taken from the Nevada test site where you see a bunch of infantrymen sitting here in front of a small atomic bomb. They're only six miles away from the blast. And they were, uh, they were most likely doing some type of test to see if the men could handle this type of explosion this close because I believe they were starting to put small nuclear warheads into cannons or, or uh, howitzers and shooting them in at close range. So I believe this was a military test to see what they could do. Of course, this was back in the 50s. Uh, knowing what they know now about nuclear bombs, I really don't think they would ever do this again. Back then, they didn't know as much as they know now. So I'm pretty sure they wouldn't do this today. Now, one of the things that I found interesting about this is that they actually give tours of this area, and I heard that they're free. You can go tour in this area and check it out for yourself. I personally would not want to go there. They say it's safe to go there, but I find it hard to believe that there is not some type of 
dangerous contamination in a place that has had 928 nuclear bombs detonated. Maybe they're right, but I personally would not be wanting to take that chance. And if you look here at Cedar, or a sedan crater, you'll see a little dirt road coming up to it right here. And this is where tourists can actually go and stand on this platform here. In fact, you can see a car right there and a platform right there. It gives you some perspective of how big this crater really is. Well, the tourists can go stand at the edge of this crater and look into it. They say it's safe. They say there's no contamination there, but they also say that the native plants that were in this area before the uh, explosion have never recovered and they don't grow there anymore. My guess is there's probably some type of contamination, but I really don't know. And if you wanted to go check the place out, you could get the tour. But if you tried to go there, you would have to go north up to 95 out of Las Vegas. Exit this street here. I believe it's called Mercury Highway. And let's go see what's there down to street view. When you get to this location, you can see there's kind of a checkpoint here where they're not going to let you in uninvited. You can see here it says you are now entering the Nevada National Security Site. No trespassing by order of the United States Department of Energy. So they do give tours, but they just don't let you roam onto this property freely. You have to get permission. I personally wouldn't want to cross this white line because they'll most likely arrest you and maybe even possibly shoot you. I don't know. I wouldn't want to take that chance. In fact, I wouldn't want to go up into this area anywhere close to it because of all the nuclear bombs that have been detonated there. I find it hard to believe that there is not some type of contamination there. But if they say there's not, maybe there isn't. Now, one quick thing before I finish here, I thought it was interesting. I'm going to turn this north. I thought it was interesting as you get in close to the nuclear bomb test site, you can see here the 928 craters that have been left between 1951 and 1992. You go up to Sedan Crater and then just off to the east, here's Sedan Crater. You have this airport here and this area here is actually the infamous Area 51. This is the place where many people have said they've seen strange looking craft flying out of some people say they are UFOs, but most likely they're probably some type of top secret military device or experimental object that they're flying or testing. So here is Area 51, and right over here is the Nevada test site with the hundreds and hundreds of craters left there from all the nuclear bombs that have been detonated in this little area right here. So there you have it, the Nevada test site or the Nevada nuclear test site near Las Vegas, Nevada, the bird's eye view of it from Google Earth.